Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about another anime. Indeed, we do. They're wrapping up one after the other. So, today, we're going to talk about The Duke of Death and His Maid. This one will be pretty short compared to the rest of them, because it's, it's very straightforward in uh, what I have to say about it. So, as I had said in the uh, discussion about the season anime, my first impressions... It seems very simple. It's about the Duke of Death, who, actually, now that I think about it, is his name ever, like, wow, his name's never said. He's just referred to as, uh, like, Young Master or, or Bochan in the, in the anime. Um, anyway, so the Young Master, he has this power of death, where if he touches anything, or I guess it's a curse of death, where if he touches anything that's alive, it dies immediately. Plants, animals, humans, anything like that. Anything with like life going through it dies immediately, right? And so because of this, he was once a noble. His mother made him move to like their villa where he lives alone with a butler and a maid. And the maid named Alice is a huge like titty girl. She has huge breasts and like uh, flirts like very obviously with the young master like uh, showing uh, her cleavage to him or like getting really close to him, making him like all embarrassed and shit like that. And over the course of the show or the season and whatnot, they grow closer and their romance develops and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's pretty much the, the gist of it. There is an underlying uh, plot of him trying to find out about his curse and how to break his curse. Uh, and that's kind of what happens later on. For the most part in the beginning, it's mostly just the interaction between the two of them. You could always, you could just call it a slice of life at that point, really. Um, the kind of stuff that's happening then. Uh, but after like uh, halfway through, they start to actually uh, search for a way to uh, cure him. And by search for, I mean, they don't really do it very intensely. They kind of just stumble upon things and uh, that sort of stuff. But all in all, yeah. And this one was weird. Because, as you can probably tell from the picture here, it's in that gross CG animation style with like the uh, like the 3D models um, that I hate. Uh, and it, whew, I, I don't know how, well, that was weird. Covered up my face for a moment there. <laughs> I don't know how, but I didn't mind it. Because you remember there's, there's another series uh, that came out this this season that I was like, nope, don't like it at all. Quit after the first episode because it was CG. But this one, it just seems okay. And maybe it's because it's not heavily action. Maybe it's because they're, you know, just standing around, talking, stuff like that, um, and stuff, that, that it's fine for me. Because um, the movement is really where you can see the gaudiness of CG. But if they're just like standing next to each other talking or like sitting next to each other with very few movements um, and very like, you know, pronounced, not like fast movements, uh, CG is kind of fine. Um, it wasn't unbearable to look at, in my opinion. It's some of the better CG. Uh, not bad, I would say. Um, yeah. Yeah. Also, I think it hinted at a second season at the uh, the end, which is interesting. I'm, I'm surprised that a second season would be coming out for this. But then again, if it is all CG, it's probably cheaper to make. So, huh. Interesting. I don't know. Anyway, I quite enjoyed it. The, uh, the dynamic between the young master... And his maid um, was quite lovely. And they're flirting, and Alice always like trying to lift her skirt or like show a little bit more of her cleavage just to mess with the uh, the young master. It was brilliant. I loved it. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if there's going to be a second season, but I'll probably watch it. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of go from there. Because I'm really curious now that they're actually like searching for a curse and a deadline has been set at the end of it for when he has to break it by. I'm wondering if it's going to be a lot more interesting in the next season. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. 
because there's not much else I can say about it because it's not that intuitive. It's, it's just the them interacting with each other all the time, you know. So uh, check it out if you think it's something you'd like. If you uh, like an odd supernatural romance kind of thing happening where the two of them try to be as intimate as possible while not touching because they would die. Um, well, they wouldn't die. Alice would die, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, check it out if that's up your alley. That's all for me, everyone, on this video. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.